Hey guys, what's going on? I am in beautiful San Clemente, California. I don't know if you can see the uh, the beach right there, but oh, there's the ocean. It's right there. It's really something. Also with me today in the car, I have a special treat for you guys. It's none other than Ross Everett. Hi guys, this is sushi. Eating, eating sushi. You're literally eating sushi in my car. That was weird. So I gotta figure out how to get back onto the five. But we just uh, we just got here to San Clemente. We're here for a wedding, so it's gonna be a wedding weekend, which can mean only one thing. Kev's gonna get wasted. Well, aren't you gonna get wasted too? Yeah, but you better get wasted. But wedding weekends mean only one thing. Yeah, getting like that really Kev's drunk. That gonna get wasted. I'm gonna get wasted. So we saw this cool secondhand store. Uh, that's right near our place, and we want to come check it out because who doesn't want to? Find something cool. So you're gonna put your arm I want to find an old apothecary or maybe an. I don't know. Oh. Something oh, cool. Oh, there's a piano. There's an organ. Look at all these pianos. Ready? Nice. Do, do you know anything? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna love this. Oh my God. You're like really singing that. That's, that's, I just learned that. Just a small town girl, <laughs> living in a lonely world. Kev, we're so proud to initiate you into the Jewish people. Hold still. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the tribe yeah, now. Yeah. So this is basically what a serial killer's basement looks like. Yeah. So this is interesting. I just stumbled upon something that I guess if YouTube was around in the 60s, like, this is what we would have edited our videos on. Oh, is that what that is? This is Final Cut Pro back in the day. <laughs> this is like a 16 millimeter. This is seriously, this is a, uh, this is no joke. This is a cutting and splicing. I don't know if this is eight millimeter or 16 millimeter, but I've actually seen one of these. Um, you put one reel here, then the other reel here, and then you run the tape in between here, and uh, like it'll show up on a screen, like you can actually see, and then you can bring the tape over and you put it here and you cut it and you can splice. And that's literally how you used to have to edit videos. Jesus. That thing is crazy. Can you imagine going like manually going like this, finding like the frame you want, be like, oh, I want to cut here. And then you bring the film literally over and then you just cut it. Wow. How many videos did you edit on this, Kev? I don't know, like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of old school, look at this camera. Oh my god, this thing's awesome. It this doesn't thing. even it doesn't even have the screen that pops out. You just literally have to look through here. This shoots in true t uh, 240. <laughs> yeah, two, 240 standard VGA. Yeah. Look at that thing. I feel like Marty McFly when he's at the mall and he's got a videotape the dock. Like, oh geez. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Is Santa going to burn the place down? Yeah, it's literally it's creepy Santa with a candle, and then there's his Mrs. Claus. Oh! All you have to do is like add the music, and you can just see how creepy it is. <laughs> In a world where a bearded man will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Okay, so right next to the Barack Obama tote bag is probably the world's scariest doll that's missing its jaw. Yeah, I think that, what do you think of that? Are you gonna get that? Uh, no. I don't wanna put my hand anywhere near it. I read Goosebumps as a kid. I know that thing yeah. comes to life and kills that's, literally, that's literally how the beginning of a horror movie starts. It's like, oh, look at that doll, we're gonna buy it. And then it takes, you take it home and it kills everyone in your family. This is very <gasps> interesting. Oh my God. A Bill Clinton doll that's endorsing Guys. both Dick Nixon and George W. Bush. Guys, you're gonna love this. This is a this is a doll of Bill Clinton endorsing George W. Bush <laughs> and Richard Nixon. And he loves his mom. Look, so there's, there's Slick Willie and he's got a Richard Nixon button and a let's do it, George W. Oh look, there's Nixon behind you in the uh, in the photograph. Oh wow, we should get that. For yeah, that's great. Oh, and there's another Nixon. God. Someone loves Nixon. Someone loves Nixon. I'm not a crook. I just realized that Ross is rocking his Escape Routes T-shirt. Mmm, wear it proud. You wear it proud. Yeah. So for those of you guys yeah, that don't nice. know, Ross was on an NBC reality show. How many seasons did Escape Routes last? What half? <laughs> <laughs> 
You're like, we barely made it through one season. We, I mean, we got dead last in one season. You got, yeah, you, get, you, get, you and Brett that. came in dead last. Yeah. So you and Brett Lemmick, your buddy Brett, were yeah. on the show. And you guys came in last place? Yeah, it was a sad thing. We, there was, was like a social media component, and then they got rid of it. And then yeah. Brett and I fell to last place. <laughs> well, for those of you that never watched Escape Routes, basically Ross and Brett were winning the show every week because they have so many Twitter and Facebook followers. And of course, all of us were helping him win by tweeting out to our friends. But then they they screwed you in the end. They did. But, but you know what? But be honest, be honest with me. Do you wear that shirt on the off chance that like someone goes escape routes? routes. You're Ross. Yeah. You're Ross Everett. Because if anyone's gonna recognize me from something, it's NBC's escape routes. <laughs> hey guys, so we're on our way to our first wedding event. Andy and Sherry rented a taco truck. No uh, taco cart. Taco cart on the beach. But then here, check this place out. This is Knuckleheads. This is tomorrow. This place is actually going to be the after party. So we're having the wedding, then the reception, then there's going to be an after party, and we're going to uh, we're going to get drunk. Oh. And this guy's blocking the sidewalk. Good job. Taco cart on the beach. This is amazing. Andy and Sherry, well done. So far, your wedding's great. <laughs> Day one. Day one. Oh, and there's. There's the guy. Cutie little eyes. <laughs> oh, and you he's telling a charming cute. story. <laughs> so I'm on the beach. I got the bonfire going. And I just have got some Mexican street tacos. I got a chicken, I got a beef, and I got a pork, and some Mexican rice. And oh my god, guys, it's so good. Is it good? Should we tell people it's our wedding yet? I don't know. I didn't want to like spring it on them like right away. Yeah. A lot of people have called Kevin gay, or into men, or uh -huh. homosexual. Uh huh. And now's the time to tell them that. <laughs> We're not hiding anymore. Oh We're not hiding anymore. <laughs> We're not hiding anymore, guys. <laughs> the bonfire's blowing right into my body. You want to know what's sad? <laughs> I would literally keep this charade going. Uh huh. But unfortunately, I have, like, there are members of my audience mm -hmm. that will literally think we're being serious. And like, Exactly. OMG, Kevin. Oh, look, this guy's taking pictures. Yeah. Hey, right. ah, Brian, love it. what's nice up? I love it. They're doing like wedding. They're doing wedding photos. That's so cool. But there's people. There's members of my audience that would literally think we're being serious, and they'd not know that you're being sarcastic, which is sad. I love really sad. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the beach. Now, as you can see, the sun is setting. It's absolutely beautiful. Just a textbook Southern California sunset. Oh yeah, look at that. It's currently about 68 degrees. Uh, for those of you on the East Coast, that's a cold snap for us. You guys are still under 20 feet of snow. Are you jealous yet? Because you should be. What? I don't know. Don't you good. So I'm here with Sherry Holmberg. About to be Sherry Mogren. About to be <laughs> Sherry Mogren. Now I just have a few questions for you. Okay. So sure. this is your last night. My last as night. Sherry Holmberg. <laughs> This is your last night as Sherry Holmberg. Tomorrow, you're gonna have a completely different name. You're gonna be. It's a trip. Sherry Mogren. <laughs> Sherry Ann Mogren. Sherry, are you excited? <laughs> I'm so excited. So your your future husband's right over there by the uh, fire. Andy, he's entertaining and everyone he's, playing guitar. He's entertaining playing guitar. <laughs> so if you you know I'm gonna be editing this video. It's it's just really one of my vlogs, but it just so happens that I'm at your wedding. So this is gonna kind of be like a wedding sort of vlog, like a behind the scenes of your guys' wedding. Is there anything <laughs> you want to say to your future husband? Uh, Andy, I just love you so much and I'm so excited and I can't wait for tomorrow.
Stop. Did you think that bathroom was gross? I thought that bathroom was so gross. What was wrong with the bathroom? The water on the floor, oh, what I hope was water. All right. The, did you see the enormous log in the out of commission toilet? I did not see it. You missed out though on why that bathroom's gross then. Did you use the bathroom, Joe? I did. It did not gross me out as much as it did Ross. But yeah, again, Ross. Well, all right. So what the fuck? Why? Why did it mess you up? I'm gonna show you. No. What are you doing? I'm showing you why this is gross. You might not see this until you were first of all gross. Okay, gross, gross. Oh yeah, let's hope that's water. Gross. Sorry. Hold on, there are people in here. But this, my friends, is what is truly. Don't look if you're on the upset stomach. Don't look that I don't know if you can see, but that is a chode poo. It is as wide as it is long, and it's disgusting. It's still gross in there. There we go. Thank you. This bathroom is disgusting. All right. Are you still recording? Yep. You got it all. Did you show everybody I the did. bathroom because it was so bad? Yeah. So it's day two. We are now walking to this place is called the casino. It's called the casino. It's called the casino, but it's not an actual casino. No, there's something written on the wall about that because before it was known as a gaming hall, casino was a word that meant just a general place where people would gather and dance and have fun. Look at you! It's you're written like, on the wall. I, I, oh, okay. I was, yeah. You're like I'm not. You're like I'm not some historian. No. <laughs> is this B-roll of the wall? It is. Yeah. Well, you were just talking about. I was the wall. talking about. The wall. You were just yeah. talking about oh. Mickey Rooney, Judy Garland. Oh. So we're looking here at all these like old school like Hollywood movie stars of, of film and TV, and as you can see, you know, there's like a lot of. Doris Day. You know, Doris Day. Rock Hudson. Yo, yeah. Betty White. Look at that. Betty White. Donna but then, and Rex Reed. Yeah, but then you come over here and then all of a sudden. Yeah. Lorenzo Lamas? He insisted that be put there. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so it's said to be here by 2.30, and it's now after 3 p.m., and this is just a weird thing that I do. Like, any time I go to a wedding, if they tell you to be there at a certain time, for every minute they go over and the wedding hasn't started, in the back of my mind, I always freak out and think one of the two got cold feet, <laughs> even though I know that's not the case, because Andy and Sherry, I love you both. But where are you guys? Everyone's waiting. It's, what time is it? Is it? It's really late. It's really, really it's really, really late. It's really late. Yeah, and you guys are nowhere to be seen. It's really late. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, guys. That's what today is about. It's about commitment. Everyone here has made the commitment to come out and support Andy and Sherry in their special day. <laughs> We're about to take our first steps as husband and wife, embarking on an adventure that will last a lifetime. I know that no matter what life throws our way, everything will be okay. Because I'll be next to you, both of your hair. I love you. power vested in me of the state of California and the Universal Life Church. I now pronounce you husband and wife. husband. I do. Oh, yeah. Now, 
by the power vessel in the United State of California and the Universal Life Church, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may officially kiss the bride. <laughs> Chicken skewers. Yeah, those, those are so good. Those are the best. Like, I like those. Yeah. But I don't think they're gonna have those here. We'll see. We'll see what they got. So here's how awesome Andy is. Andy made an actual movie about his wedding. These are all the bridesmaids and groomsmen. Impression of all. Are you trying to do a Bill Cosby impression? Because if there's one thing I know which that you're never gonna do as good of a Bill Cosby oh, as maybe Kevin, you if there's one thing that I'll do with the kids, it's you know, I will do a Bill Cosby impression of Rudy Rudy Cliff, the Rudy Cliff, Rudy Rudy Cliff, the Rudy Cliff. See, listen, I'll be honest with you, Peter. That was a pretty good impression. If Bill Cosby was having a stroke while taking a shit, that would be spot on. That's exactly what I'm I would sound like. I'm having a stroke while taking a shit and I'm the taking pudding a shit and, the and, the, oh. and I'm making some chocolate pudding in my pants. Oh. Oh. I was like, oh my God, one of the guests is coming out of my room. And she's like, you're coming down too. Yay. All right, guys, we're headed down to the after party. Are you going to the after party? Yeah. Hells yeah, that's right. So we're headed down to the after party, uh, which is at this bar Thank called you. Knuckleheads. Yeah. So me and Peter are just doing impressions of Peter. I love Peter's uh, Owen Wilson. Do some Owen Wilson. Well, well, I'm doing Patrick Wilson right now. Basically, Owen Wilson's my father. He's my pops. and. I feel like an a-hole if I didn't tell you that, like, yeah, he's a great guy. You know, my dad, Owen Wilson, great guy. You know, I re we get along great. He's my amigo. We're pals. That's true. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Mogren. How are you doing? Oh, my. 
What's up, man? I'm I, how excited are you? I'm giving you bad footage. You're giving me bad footage. I love you, Kevin. I love you too. Hey, hey, this is the Friday show with Kevin Brook. <laughs> They don't, see, everybody knows. Everyone wants everybody the Friday show. The Friday show. Everyone wants the Friday show. Oh, shit! Hey, it's just Saturday night. I just got back to our room and look at Ross. Really? Ross, there's nobody in your bed. It's nothing but pillows. Why didn't you meet a nice girl tonight at the wedding? Why? Is this real? Is this real? Answer oh, me. Like, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we just share a laugh? Okay, this was just pointed out to me, but if you look at this mural, look at this surfer. Do you guys notice anything about this surfer? <laughs> That's right. He's got a huge dong just sticking out. I don't know who did that, but you gotta admit, it's pretty freaking funny.